Hey, what's up? Mark King here, and this is a uh, article I actually uh, ran across the Twitter, right? Uh, Twitter is just a it's it's a propaganda site, <laughs> right? So now this led me to this article. Well, actually, it led me to a picture, which led me to this article. Medusa with a head of Persis will shame men outside NYC courthouse. Okay. So, before the the obligatory outrage, yes, it's terrible that they do this because women are like again. Th- this is the truth that right? women are literally children, except in bigger bodies. Okay, the ten. Like, a lot of these things are um, evolutionary. You can say it's uh, God driven. Um, they really, they're very persuaded. By what they think is trendy in society, especially those without husbands, okay? Without male leadership, women annihilate themselves. So women are the are the definition of what I would call useful idiots. Right? That's the term for basically liberals or people who are just useful to the communists, but they don't truly realize what they really are. Okay, they'll never share power, right? So I'm gonna show you the statue, right? I'm gonna read this trash article because it's by the uh, Mary Sousa. This is like a trash feminist website, and it's written by, you guessed it, trash feminists. And they're very much protected by the mainstream media and promoted by the mainstream media. It seems like the mainstream media want to promote those who, how do I say this properly, with lesser talent or lesser ability than those who can, right? If we analyze um, female writing, you'll see how long and tedious it is, right? Even in women's speech patterns, they tend to talk long before they get to a point. Men tend to talk directly. So this is the statue here, right? Imagine this was reversed. A man holding a female's head. First, a statue will never be commissioned or being made. We all know why this was made, right? Okay, so for those who don't know, um, the mayor of New York is Bill de Blasio. And he's actually a trained Marxist. He trained in Cuba, I think, in his ideology. So this is who New York has elected as the mayor. So this explains his rationale. Now, one of the things you can tell is like people with lanky bodies, not always, but a lot of times you can tell something is amiss, right? Usually it's like people with lanky bodies tend to be effeminate. Okay? You can see this with um with Barry, Barrio, and now Bill D, okay? The lanky bodies. So the point of this is Women, what they don't understand after the uh, the Communist Party, the CCP is finished using them. Guess what statue gets destroyed? Guess what's one of the first statues to get destroyed? Okay, the CCP will not stand for this, okay? Communists are very well trained in um, human psychology. Right? This, how you destroy civilization, okay? Women. Okay, women are self destructed. Look at every, every city that, that's ever been um, demoralized or destroyed. It starts right here. One of the, um, the talking points of the MGTOW is women's right to vote. And as much as I try to deny it, MGTOW is 100 for 100, right? Kind of like I was saying, but um, history, it tells us exactly what's going to happen. Okay? Women are destructive in society because they'll always be used by... Here's the thing. It's always easier to get dissuaded by evil than it is good. Evil is easier... To follow because it's the easier path. Okay? That's the easier easiest path. 
is probably the wrong path, if that makes sense. Okay, and right now, we're in the era where everybody wants the path to be easy. And the path being easy, this is what they promote. Imagine, once again, this was a man, huge, long, shlong, <laughs> carrying a woman's head. This would have never been uh, brought up, put up, especially in Manhattan, especially in the United States. This is how evil these people are. Okay? Women are, are like I said, it's useful idiots, can be also be blissfully ignorant. They tend not to understand their own nature and their own self-destructiveness. This is what kind of happened in the black community. When people don't understand themselves, they don't understand what's around them, and they tend never to think that society is using them. Okay, how do you protect women? Women find men. Okay, one of the keys to know if a relationship is pretty much dead, who does a woman go to for advice? Does he come to her man or someone else? If she comes to someone else, you know it's a pretty much a, a dead, uh, it's a dead relationship. Okay. So anyway, this is a trash article by um, the Mary Sue, which is a highly prominent uh, feminist website. Let's see what the, oh geez, just as you expect. Anyway, uh, this is by Jessica Mason, but I didn't use the article, I just used the pictures for reference. And how awful this is. It's going to be a seven foot bronze statue coming to the streets of New York to shame men entering New York County Criminal Court. It's a seven foot statue. Uh, it's a bronze rendition statue, whatever that means, it will be unveiled Monday. See, I, I think this is a, um, a CGI image. I don't think it's the actual statue, but this is what they envision it to look like. At least this one I'm uh, reading from this article here. By the way, what you do, okay, so when they say woman behind the myth, this is where they try to change the myth. This is why it's very dangerous when they retell history. Like the Viking ancestors, where they play a black man saying it's his Viking ancestors. That's very dangerous. That's part of demoralization, desensitization. It's where you lose all perspective of who you are and who you came from. If you get broken, You'll never defend the shores from a real threat. And we know the real threat are the communists. And once again, the communists would allow these statues to be put up to destroy the current civilization. Then when it's finally um, it's finally time to give the uh, love bullet to, these statues will be one of the first things to get torn down. Share, save, subscribe, thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. I sure didn't. <laughs> Bye.